Good morning. I'm glad you've chosen to join us today as we worship the Lord today. We are jumping back into the Sermon on the Mount. We will be looking today at the scripture from Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. And in this passage, we see that Jesus speaks to us on a very important topic. Where your treasure is, that's where you'll find your heart. Before we jump into the meat of the scripture, though, I'd like to share with you an illustration. A number of years ago, I had the opportunity of watching a really good movie. A really good movie. The title is Cool Runnings. I believe it came out in 1993. It was actually based on a true story, which came out of the 1988 World Olympics. And in this story, we see a Jamaican bobsled team emerging. Their coach was Irv Blitzer, who had, in his day, won a gold medal in 1968, and then I think also in 1972, had the opportunity of winning a third gold medal, but he chose to cheat. And he was caught, and he was disqualified. He ended up retiring in disgrace and became a bookie on the island of Jamaica. Well, on the island of Jamaica, there were some young men and women who had some very strong aspirations of going to the 1988 Olympics. One happened to be a 100-meter sprinter. His name was Doris. But he failed to qualify for the 88 Olympics. Uh, opportunity knocked, um, but he was tripped and missed making the team. And so he got this idea of putting things together to create a Jamaican bobsled team. He went to Coach Blitzer, or to Mr. Blitzer, and asked if he would be his coach, and he reluctantly agreed to. And that's where the fun began. A lot of fun. It was a good show, as I said. But at the 88 Olympics, the shame of all that he had done began to resurface. His team was disqualified, but when his team was disqualified, he steps in and goes to bat, and they are allowed to compete. Once the shame resurfaced, this athlete, whose name was Doris, questioned the coach. If you had one gold medal, why did you cheat? And here we see probably one of the most powerful comments in the entire movie. And this is what he said. If you are not enough without a gold medal, you'll never be enough with one. If you are not enough without a gold medal, you will never be enough with one. I want you to hold that thought because we're going to come back to that because I feel that it's very applicable to today's truth. As I said, we are back on track with the Sermon on the Mount. Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. Let me read them for you. Jesus is giving to those who were gathered around him on the mountainside some very powerful instruction. And that instruction comes to us today. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust destroys, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Listen to this. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. In the midst of this sermon, Jesus takes a look at their treasures. God had blessed the nation of Israel. They were hardworking people. And because of their work ethic, because of the blessing, many had amassed 
a decent amount of wealth. And Jesus touches on an issue that I think had the ability of affecting almost everybody there on the mountainside. And this is when he said, if you'll find your treasure, you'll find your heart. And we could say the same thing today. If we can find our treasure, that's where we'll find our heart. I don't think in any way is Jesus attempting to discourage us from being proactive in preparing for the future. We need a rainy day fund. We need an emergency fund. The Bible even speaks to us that we are to consider the ant if you're a lazy person. And look at how this ant is such a hard-working little insect. He knows that hard times are coming, and so he gets out there and he works. And he stores. And we're encouraged to have that type of behavior. And so I don't think, as I said, that Jesus is trying to discourage us in any way from being proactive in preparing for that emergency or the hard times we know are going to be coming. He wants us to plan ahead. And he applauds it. But as we look at the scripture here in Matthew's Gospel, we see that he is speaking to us about an eternal principle. And that is our treasure. Treasures can be tricky. Because if you don't hold on to it loosely, it has the ability of holding on to you. I remember probably 20 years ago. A friend of mine invited me to go fishing. We were going to go out in a boat, do some bass fishing. And he told me to just bring my tackle box and my rod and reel, and he'd provide the rest. And so we get there, and the bait that he's chosen are leeches. And I opened the top lid and there are the leeches just squirming around in this little container. The leeches were probably at least three inches long. And I remember reaching in to grab a leech so I could put it on my hook. And as I'm grabbing it, it's grabbing me. And I'm having to kind of pull it off of my finger. And that was an interesting experience. But this is exactly what I'm saying. If you don't hold on loosely to your treasures, they will take a hold of you. And I think this is what Jesus was trying to warn us. Help us to understand that we've got to put our treasures in the right place. Don't let the, material, the materialistic things of the day Grab a hold of our heart. Because treasures are tricky from the standpoint that they provide a good feeling to us. They provide a sense of security. We could go on and on and on about that. But I look at that and I see here that he wants us to have an internal perspective about what we have. And I look at what I have, and I realize that everything I have belongs to God. If he were to tell me to go and sell it tomorrow, if I knew that it was his word, it would be done. And you've got to learn to hold on to your treasures carefully. And that's why I thought this quote from Cruel Runnings was so applicable today. If you are not enough without a gold medal, you'll never be enough with one. And there's a part of us with the things that we're storing up, the things that we're treasuring for ourselves, 
we kind of have this feeling that if I could only get a little bit more, if I could only get a raise, if I could only get a promotion, if I could only get a break, or if I could only get a tip or whatever to help me to amass more. And what happens is that we begin to chase this down. And Jesus said, don't lay up for yourself treasures here on the earth. Because he said, if, if these are the things that you really, truly treasure, the moth is going to destroy it. The rust is going to destroy it. Thieves are going to break in and steal from you. But he said, make sure your treasures are in heaven. And this is the thing that just really grabs my heart and hopefully grabs yours. Because he says here, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Let God be your treasure. Let the kingdom be your treasure. Let your relationship with your Savior be your treasure. Treasure those things that cannot be taken away from you. God will provide for your needs. He'll be your provider. But make sure that your treasures are eternal. And in doing so, you'll find that your heart can rest easy because your treasures will never be stolen. God bless.